Hello again and welcome back to Road to Diary Cape. This is episode number 18. I hope you guys enjoy watching the episode today. As always, I'll be back at the end to wrap things up. But for now, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. And there is 81 construction. As I said in the last episode, I have enough planks for 83. So a couple more hours of this and then I will look to upgrade my rejuvenation pool and uh, get some of those new uh, teleports for my portal chambers. And there is 82 construction, just one more and then I will get on with uh, doing all that upgrading in my house. I'm not sure if you can tell, my cold's gotten a lot worse, I feel rough as shit. But at least the XP is fast and uh, blazing through these planks, so yeah, we'll be there soon. And there we go, 83 construction, very nice to finally reach that, wasn't too bad to be honest, uh, very quick XP. So what I need to do now is <coughs> make a decision on how I want to arrange my house and yeah, go about getting a plus 5 boost and sticking in all the upgrades that I talked about earlier. So I'll go and do that now, It'll take a little while. Um, well, it will take a little while for me, it won't take a little while for you. It'll be the next clip you see. So yep, I'll be back once I have rearranged my house and then give you a very quick tour of it again. Alright, so my house is pretty much complete, or near enough as complete as I want it for the time being, so uh, I'd like to give you a very quick tour. I know I did one of these uh, a few videos ago, but yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to show off my work. So let's see how quick it loads. Hopefully the loading time is pretty quick because I have tried to keep it very um, minimalistic. Let's see. Yeah, like one or two seconds. So everything is north of my entry portal. Uh, this is the achievement gallery. As you can see, I didn't actually end up upgrading my altar to the occult altar. I think it's called, um, checking the price of the Pharaoh Scepter, and I have one, and I need one for teleporting to Sophonum for hard clues, and I also need it for a master clue, so I'd have to buy a separate one to upgrade this, and it's like 7.5 7 mil, so that's too much, considering I don't really use Ancients, uh, Ever, to be honest, and I can always just use my scepter to teleport to the Ancients Pyramid quickly. But anyway, the main reason I wanted to change my house around is to add a bunch of new teleports, so I'd say that the teleports I use the most are the ones in this western room and this eastern room, so Barok, uh, the Watchtower Teleport, Falador, Camelot, Ardoin, and Canopus, and then I've added some new ones, which I think will be quite useful. Um, the Karen teleport will be particularly useful for getting to uh, the catacombs, doing an aisle teleport for Sukwa tasks, and Lumbridge if I'm doing easy clues or just need to get there, uh, that's pretty convenient. And finally, oh of course, got the new rejuvenation pool so it heals my health and then in this portal chamber I have Waterbirth Island figured that might be useful if I'm doing uh, DKs or something Centisten which is dig site I'm gonna test to see where this actually comes out because that might be really useful for clue scrolls because previously I've just been teleporting to Barok and running there for clue scrolls which kinda takes a while and Anakal which takes you to the uh, greater demons in like level 44 wilderness. I am considering like dropping a mill or so on the scrying pool because then you can actually look uh, at the location before you teleport there and that might be useful just to see if there's any PKs there because as you know I am a wimp. As for the rest of my house, obviously I wanted to keep my skill hall because um, I don't want to lose my cow fight queen head because we all know what a bitch that was to get and if I want to train construction in the future, I can just build a dungeon underneath here. 
and uh, train there. Two bedrooms, uh, one for me, one for my butler, costume room and workshop. Deleted the chapel, don't need it. The rejuvenation pool heals, uh, I mean, restores your prayer. Uh, didn't have a dining room. I could just build one if I need for training construction. So that's basically it. Just going to very quickly see where this dig site teleport takes you. Beautiful. That That is perfect. So there you have it. Um, hopefully that wasn't too boring, but that is my house. Spent a bit of time doing that, so I'm pretty pretty pleased. And um, yeah, fingers crossed I won't need to do anything major with my house or construction for a long time to come. Wow, lucky I fucking noticed that off in the distance. The rare dragon spear. That's my third one, I think. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's worth nothing. Always nice to get these rare drops, though. First uh, clue scroll of the vid. It is a hard one. Let's see what we can get this time. 65k. Not the best, not the worst, as evidenced in the last episode by that 13.5k clue scroll. The bar has been set very, very low. And another hard clue reward coming in. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Zami page, very tidy, 600k or so. Ah, that's much better. Nice to get a good clue. It's been a while. Oh, no way. That's my first ever shield left half drop. And I got that D spear earlier as well. Ah, oh, I don't know why, but I'm like really happy to get that drop for some reason. I think just because it is really rare. And I've not had one thus far on this account. Man, oh, it's like nearly 100k, that's more than I expected. And ah, oh, wow, wasn't expecting that. Seem to get a lot of dragon drops at Blood Builds. Don't know what it is. A couple of D meds, I think. And the uh, left half as well. Yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Strength level coming in 94. Another nice melee level to reach. And I've got a hard clue in the inventory to do after this task as well. And another hard clue. 63k. Ah, not too bad. So I finally received my first Hellhound task after hitting 91 Slayer, which means I can give Cerberus a go. Never killed this boss before. I'm gonna have to read some guides and we'll probably end up dying a few times along the way, but um, I'm quite excited to give it a go. Um, if I get uh, a smouldering stone or a primordial crystal then I'm going to keep those because they're two items I would like to have um, but otherwise yeah let's see if I can get some kills I mean you, you've heard me complain about my ping numerous times and you've seen how bad my uh, clicks and flicks are so I'm sure it will go terribly but who knows let's see if we can get some crystals this has got to be one of the quickest hard clues I've ever done it was like under five minutes uh, 84k rewards, not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright, time for some Cerberus. Yeah, I died. Ah, uh, prey flicking is not my strong point. Finished my first kill, I realised what I was doing wrong. I had uh, a bit of a mix up with the colour of the spirits that come out, so I was like completely praying the wrong thing. Oh. It's good, it's good fun, but it's tricky. First drop coming in at Cerberus, Purgation Crystal, unfortunately. That is the least valuable of all three crystals. I think it's only worth a few hundred K compared to the Eternal Crystal, which is like 3.5 mil, and the Primordial Crystal, which is the one I want, which is 25 mil, used to upgrade the Dragon Boots, but 66 kills done. Um... Yeah, nice to get the first drop. Uh, it's going quite well. Um, I feel like I've figured out the mechanics of the boss. I've got the prayer flicking down pretty well now. Um, usually getting like four or five kills a trip, which I'm not sure if that's that good. Um, I don't have a spectral spirit shield, which does help a lot because it halves the prayer drain from the spirits. Um, but yeah, going to keep on... Uh, keep on going and finish the task at Cerberus and hopefully get another drop. 
All right, so that was my 100th Cerberus kill for the tooth half. I'm going to finish this trip and then give a few more thoughts on the boss and what I want to do with it going forward, basically. So I just cut my trip short anyways because of some bad lag, but um, going forwards with Cerberus, I do really enjoy doing the boss. Um, and I feel like I'm not too bad at killing it now, to be perfectly honest. Like, I'm getting steady five kills a trip. But without the spectral shields, I don't know. I, I just feel like I'm using so many prayer potions. And I know that it is a very um, resource-intensive boss. But it would be nice to get the spectral spirit shield before I, you know, really camp it. But the only problem is the spectral spirit shield is 50 mil. And I just can't afford that at the moment. So... Um, for the rest of my Hellhound tasks, I've got about 50 left to kill 52. I'm just going to kill the regular ones, and in the future, when I get another Hellhound task, I'll probably do a bit of Cerberus, but I, I don't know if I will camp it as such, because unless I get, like, a Primordial Crystal or an Internal Crystal, it, I'm going to be using a lot of resources, so I have to make a decision on that as and when I get the tasks, I think. Um... But yeah, I'm probably going to be stopping with Slayer soon anyway because only 350k XP to 93. And once I hit that, I'm going to be training some other skills, so we'll see. Having said what I did just say about Cerberus being a very uh, resource intensive task in terms of prayer potions and sharks, I took out all of the loot that I got from those 100 kills and I was pleasantly surprised just over 2 mil, and that is with a unique drop that is really not worth that much, so I'm pretty sure that does actually pay for the prayer potions, so I guess Cerberus might still be worth doing, um, even at my level and without a spectral spirit shield. Um, it's kind of in the same camp as Kraken, in that it takes a long time to do, um, and it is profitable um, over a longer course, I suppose, because you are relying on a unique drop. Um, but yeah, and the XP is actually not too bad. Like I can get like 30 to 35 kills an hour, so that is like 20k or more Slayer XP an hour, which is more than I get actually killing the regular ones. So who knows, maybe I will persevere and finish the task at Cerberus. Very, very glad I decided to continue on with some Cerberus. Another crystal, eternal crystal. Uh, obviously not worth as much as the Primordial, but still that's a very tidy few mil and certainly pays for my supplies, so pretty happy with that. Very lucky to have two crystals uh, in just over 100 kills as well. And a hard clue coming in. 100k. Cheeky Tan Cavalier, not too bad, I will take that. And another hard clue reward coming in. Ooh, very nice. 280k Armadillo Page. Yeah, clues are looking a little bit better this episode. Time for an upgrade. Uh, figured I might as well splash the cash while I have a big stack. Here we go. Yes. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. 55k, uh, nothing too special. Hitting the rare drop table yet again, another D-Med. So this episode I've had the D-Spear, Shield Left Half and a D-Med as well. Crazy, crazy luck. Okay, and another hard clue coming in. Ooh, 114k, not too shabby. You know the drill, hard clue. 86k, okay. Elite clue scroll coming in from Cerberus, so I probably end up trading that in for an elite. I mean, a master. No way, another elite clue scroll. I actually went to Watson and handed the previous one in just in case I got a new one. That's some crazy luck. All right, and Cerberus kill number... 200, anything nice? No. And another crystal, eternal this time. That's still pretty good, uh, about 3 mil or so. Shame it's not uh, primordial, but I will take that. Okay, now I am a little, little bit salty. 
Purgation crystal, um, that is my fourth crystal in just over 200 kills. So I'm getting lucky to hit that rare drop table, but I would prefer something worth 25 mil over something that's worth 100k, to be perfectly honest. Here we go. 93 Slayer. I can finally kill Smoke Devils. That is a very, very long-term goal completed. Yes, very pleased with that. So if you're not aware, 93 is the highest level um, you need for Slayer for the Elite Diaries. So I really have no reason to continue training Slayer at the moment because my long-term goal, as you know, is to get the Achievement Diary Cape. So for now, I am going to stop training Slayer and focus on some skills for uh, the foreseeable future. Um, I think this will probably be a good point uh, in the series to recap what I need to do going forward. Um, so I'm just going to prepare a little bit of a ramble and uh, fill you guys in with what I need to do now uh, to finish off the rest of the requirements for the Achievement Diary Cape. All right, so let's take a quick look at the skills that I need to train now going forward uh, with my goal of completing the Achievement Diary Cape. So first up we have Agility. I need to get 85. That's pretty straightforward. I will just do the Sears uh, Rooftop Course. Uh, next up is Fishing. need to get to 91. I will do most likely... I will most likely do Barbarian Fishing. Not 3-tick or 4-tick um, because that is just too much of a hassle, but I'll just do regular barbarian fishing and use mouse keys to empty my inventory. Um, I'll probably do fishing before agility because you do get some marginal agility XP when you are uh, barbarian fishing, so that it's more efficient to do fishing first. Magic, I do need to get two magic levels um, and then use a plus four boost um, for two of the diaries, I believe. I will probably do some alking whilst um, doing agility, but if I need to, I can do some bursting as well, um, which is what I did to get up to 90. Mining, uh, I need to get up to 82. That will probably be Motherlode Mine, although at 75, I may decide to get my Loverkenge favor and then do some blast mining. Runecrafting, I will most likely do Bloods all the way up to 86. Smithing, I have the Gold Ore Banked. I've been meaning to do that for months. I was just waiting for the Blast Furnace update. So now that that is here, I can do that sometime soon. And of course, Thieving to 91. Well, that might be Blackjacking. That might be Pyramid Plunder. I will have to see how I'm feeling at the time. On top of those skill requirements, there are a few miscellaneous things that I need to do. For example, I need to get the Master Rank um, for the White Knight Armor. That shouldn't take too long. I need to get level 5 in all of the roles at Barbarian Assault. If I get lucky and have some good teams for that, hopefully that isn't too painful. I need to get a full set of Void. I think that's maybe six or seven hours, depending on how busy the worlds are and if there are too many bots there ruining, it, ruining the games. And 1,000 Chompy Kills, which, again, shouldn't take too long. That's a couple of hours. I do have a lot of slow skills left. Agility, mining, runecrafting, fishing, very slow skills, but... some of them are fairly AFK, so... I'll try to keep the content interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit sad to be turning away from Slayer, I have to say, but, um, it's good motivation for me because I guess once I've got the achievement diary cape, I can come back to Slayer. So that's the plan for the time being. Sorry again for the ramble, but figured it's been uh, a fair few episodes, um, since I started the series. So it makes sense to just recap and, um, remind ourselves of what the ultimate uh, end game goal is here. Okay, so if you remember from earlier, I had two elite clues from Cerberus. I have managed to get the rest of the tiers of clues I needed. So I've got one master clue in my inventory and then another one waiting for me at Watson, uh, either once I complete this one or throw it away when Sherlock gives me a 90 woodcutting clue. But fingers crossed I can do both of them and let's see if we get any decent rewards this time. Sherlock, you are 
fucking kidding me. Mine a piece of Brunite ore whilst sporting the finest mining gear. Well, I don't have 85 mining. I would need 82 and the dragon pickaxe. Special attack. I am I am so tempted to make mining my first um my first skill that I'm going to train. There's really no reason why I should throw this away because I do need to get 82 for the achievement diary. So as much as I hate mining, um, I feel like the, the rest of the skills I have to train I don't particularly like. But as much as I hate mining, um, oh, do I do it? I'll make a decision. So guys, you have reached the end of episode 18. I hope you enjoyed watching the episode today. I do apologize for the uh, stuffy voice that I had at the beginning of the episode, but that can't really be helped. Um, before I wrap things up, I just want to say thank you again for all of the support. I've nearly reached 50 subscribers now, which is um, quite ridiculous to think about, um, considering I only started this channel a couple of months ago. Um, as you can see, I am at the Motherload Mine, so I'm going to do my best to be uh, mining, at least for the beginning part of the next episode. We shall see if I can keep that up, but for now... Wherever you are and whatever you are doing this week and for the rest of your Sunday, I hope you have a good one and I will catch you next time. Take care.